and welcome to this demonstration of ER Studio Team Server's communication and collaboration capabilities. The intent of this demonstration is to display the benefits of deploying Team Server as your organization's central data architecture communication platform. Oftentimes, a seemingly simple question can set in motion a chaotic communication process in which a number of people participate using various communication outlets including extremely long email threads, instant message products, and or person-to-person -person discussions while in a break room or in the hallways. Not only does this mean that questions and answers are difficult to track down across all of the communication outlets, but it's also difficult to ensure that all the correct subject matter experts are included in the discussion. One major benefit of ER Studio Team Server is the centralization of communication and collaboration around your organization's data. With unlimited user access, Team Server allows anyone within the organization to be notified, stay informed, and contribute to discussions around areas of interest. Team Server ensures that subject matter experts are included in all relevant conversations and, since the discussion thread is centralized and maintained, Previous discussions can be easily referenced when a related question arises. In this demonstration, we'll show how multiple users with roles varying from the business to technical came together using Team Server to communicate, collaborate, and to satisfy a common business goal. Before we get started with the demonstration, here's some background for context. All ER Studio Team Server users work for the same organization. The organization purchases and sells bicycle frames from original manufacturers. Frames are manufactured from aluminum, steel, or carbon fiber. All sales are made through an online store. Team Server has been deployed in the company and is well known to many users of various roles. All users in the demo are following the product business term. And because we know that data requirements are most often originated from the business and not just from IT, the discussion is initiated from a business requirement. During this demonstration, we'll see how and why this discussion that was held between the senior buyer, the data modeler, the business analyst, and the developer was held. We'll begin with the senior buyer. As a senior buyer, I've noticed that there seems to be a correlation between purchased products and the material that they're manufactured from. Therefore, for inventory analysis purposes, I'd like to check if we're capturing product material for all products. If not, I need to ensure that we begin to capture this characteristic. This information is defined in Team Server, so I'll begin by logging in there. I'm first going to go search for the product business term. By typing in product in the search field, the product business term is returned. And if I click on it, I'm taken to its description page, where I can see many attributes of product, such as its definition, and this custom attribute for characteristics, where I can see product characteristics include brand, color, size, style, class, and weight. From here, I don't see that we're capturing material. However, I'll go and check the Related Terms tab to see all of the terms that product has been related to. And as we can see, product has been related to a term for each of the characteristics. I still don't see material. However, I'll check one last place. We'll check the Related ER Objects, where I can see the product business entity. By clicking on it, I can see the different attributes that are captured within the business entity. Again, by examining these attributes, I see that the material characteristic is not being captured for products. For that reason, I'll return to the product term and begin a discussion. My discussion started with the following thread. The material a product is manufactured from is an important characteristic for inventory and sales purposes. We need to start capturing this characteristic at the time a product is purchased. In addition, customers should be able to view and select products by material within the online store. Once the senior buyer started the discussion on the product business term, all users that are following that term will be notified via their activity stream or by email. So 
Let's turn to the next user that must react to the discussion. At this point, I'll log in as the data modeler. As a data modeler, all product models fall under my responsibility, and therefore I'm following the product business term. Since I'm following that term, I notice that within my activity stream, that the senior buyer has left a discussion on the product term. So at this point, I need to find out if we are already capturing the characteristic of material within any of our product models. If it's not, I want to begin adding that as a characteristic to our models. Again, I know that Team Server is the place for me to search across all of my models to quickly determine if material is already being captured. So I'll turn to the ER Objects tab and I'll search for product. Now I'm going to filter the results by entity and I can quickly examine the results here and find that there's a product entity in the enterprise model, in the sales order system model, and in the inventory model. So let's click on the sales order system model and examine its attributes. If we take a look at all the attributes, we see many characteristics are being captured for product, but we don't see an attribute for material. Likewise, if we examine all the product entities for the other logical models, we'll find that material is not an attribute in any of those entities. For that reason, I need to begin to add that as an attribute to my logical entities. And to do so, of course, I would turn to my ER Studio Data Architect tool. It's not the intent of this demonstration to show functionality in Data Architect, but I'll quickly show you the interface here and show that I've added the material attribute to the product entity ahead of time as a nvarcar 20 that's not null. Once I save this, it can be displayed within Team Server. Also, once it's saved across all my logical entities, I'll then deploy the material as a column within the product entities, which will then be deployed to the database systems themselves. Now that that's complete, I'll return to Team Server and to my activity stream to reply to the discussion thread. In this case, as a data modeler, I reply with material has been added to all product entities and tables and it has been deployed to the sales order system database. The next user to participate in this discussion is the business analyst. As a business analyst, I'm responsible for documenting and maintaining business requirements for all sales processes. This includes the customer purchase process for the online store, which, from what I can tell from the discussion between the senior buyer and the data modeler, I need to update to include the step for selecting products by material. So I'll log in, and of course, from my activity stream, I can see the discussion, and I know that the fastest place for me to review my existing process models is within Team Server. So I'll select the ER Objects tab, and I'll search for the Sales Order Process model. I'm going to filter the results by process diagrams and select the sales order process. Here I can view the image and by examining this process I can see that there's no step for selecting products by material. So with that knowledge I'll open up my product of choice for creating process models, the ER Studio Business Architect, which I've prepared ahead of time and as you can see I've now added a step for selecting products by material. Again, once I save this and add it to my repository, it can be viewed within Team Server. So at this point, I'll return to the activity stream and provide a reply to the discussion. I've updated the sales order process model to include steps for selecting products by material and saved it as version 2. The online sales order system needs to be updated to include these steps. Now that the process models have been updated, for the online store, it's my turn as a developer to develop the underlying system so that customers can select products by material. I've also been following the product term, so I've been updated on the discussions between the senior buyer, data modeler, and business analyst. So I'll go ahead and log in and turn to the ER Objects tab because the first thing I want to do is review the new process model so I know where to include a step for purchasing products by material. So I'll search for sales order process and I'll select the second version and view its image. 
where I can see exactly where the step for selecting product by material lies. Although I'll also have to update the physical database system, so to do that I'd like to review its schema structure. The fastest way for me to do that is by reviewing a physical data model of the database. In this case I know that it's the sales order system database that I'll need to update. And to review its related physical data model, I can turn to the data source tab, search for the sales order database, drill into that specific data source where I can find out important information like it's a SQL server, its host name, and as well view the related ER model. In this case it's related to the sales order PDM and by selecting that model and viewing the image I can quickly review the schema for the sales order system. Now at this point I'll return to the activity stream where I've left my comment, the update to the online store which will allow customers to display products by material will be ready by the end of the week. Data for the online store is stored in the sales order system. We'll finish this demonstration with the data analyst. As a data analyst I've been asked to run reports for products sold by material and by region. Before I write that query that will pull data out of a specific database, I want to review the data model that represents that database, which can be most easily found through Team Server. I'll log in to Team Server, select the ER Objects tab, and search for Sales Order and filter the results by model, which of course the Sales Order physical data model appears, and I can review its product sales submodel. By reviewing this submodel, I can see that the data I need is found in the Sales Territory, Product, and Sales Order table. At this point, I'll open up my query development tool of choice, Embarcadero Rapid SQL, where I've created the following query. Now, since this product, Rapid SQL, can connect directly to Team Server, which you can see under the Tools menu, I can pull metadata directly from the model that's mapped to this data source. So the sales order PDM is mapped to the ETNA Connect01 data source, and we can see as we hover over objects like product material, we get the definition of product material which is coming directly from the sales order physical data model material column. And I get these information alerts which have been set up in Team Server. In this case, it tells me that materials include carbon fiber, aluminum, or steel. This is important information because I use that within my query. Now if I hover back over product material and click on the material hyperlink, it'll take me directly to that material column where I can see the information alert at the top of the page and other useful information such as its general properties, definition, etc. Let's go back and execute the query where we can see all of the products sold by material and by territory. Now, if we quickly review the resulting data set, we'll see that territory is not very granular. In fact, territory seems to be just by country. As a data analyst, I'd like to get more granular detail. I'd like to determine products sold by, say, province, state, or county. I'm not sure if we're capturing that information, so I'd like to find out from other users within Team Server. For that reason, I'll start a discussion from the sales order physical data model that's titled Need More Granular Territory Data. The data for territory is not granular enough are we capturing data for products sold by state, province, or county? This final discussion was left just to show that the discussions can continue and having these discussions centralized in Team Server will allow the right subject matter experts to be notified and participate within the discussion as we've seen from the earlier demonstration. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration.